Really all the water that we collect and send to Denver is, is snowmelt. There's no pumps, it all makes its way to Denver just by gravity. Water connects us all. We have to be self-sufficient out here, taking care of the system that we are running water in, so our guys have access to all uh, the diversions and things they need to get to to do their job. Our group of guys is a unique group because they're, they're willing to work outside, they're willing to do whatever it takes. Ditch riders, we just call our canals and all that just the ditch. So I'm the guy who pretty much takes care of the whole system. There's always other ways to do a job. Me being a little shorter, I find different ways. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do this job or anything because it makes me a better person for knowing my limitations, knowing when I need help. We'll go out and actually measure the snow depth. We'll measure the water content. And that gives everybody in the water resource end of things an idea of what kind of water we're gonna get from that snowpack. Right when we go into winter is when we can have a lot of issues. We have different gates that'll start freezing and can turn into a headache. So that's why we're there every single day making sure that those backups and floods don't happen. When you say, what did you do, why this direction, it's not following the money, but following your heart and doing what makes you happy. It's just amazing to see where all that water comes from, how it makes its journey. It's unbelievable. This job opened my eyes to that. Cheeseman Reservoir, we're located halfway between Conifer and Woodland Park. They were surveying in 1898 and then started building the dam in 1900. We mostly do the water changes when water resources calls. The more water in the reservoir, the more you'll get out of the valves. Depending on the flow, if we're real low, we'll run one or two. They'll tell us to go up or down. And then it can vary anywhere from building fans, grading roads. I've been working here for 23 years full time. I like it up here because of the isolation, the scenery, the location, the people I work with. I grew up, my granddad's had horses, my dad's had horses, and we just fell into it. This is kind of like ranching, but without the cows. When the fire happened here during the Hayman, out of 8,500 acres, we own maybe 1,000 didn't burn. We have had quite a bit of sediment come into the reservoir, and it does diminish our holding capacity. One of the biggest challenges that we have at Strontra Springs Reservoir is going to be uh, the result of major wildfires that have occurred upstream. It has posed lots of challenges that our engineers and watershed scientists have to look at. So they're doing their very best to come up with solutions that not only will uh, fix things in the short term, but also find long-term solutions. We aerial seeded with a helicopter and planted a bunch with four-wheelers. We got some of those trees that are doing real good. So water from Strontia Springs Reservoir goes to two different treatment plants, Foothills and Marston. About 80% of Denver water's raw water supply comes through Strontia Springs. Waterton Canyon is special because it's an interface between the natural world and then the man-made built environment. I'm one of three hydro operators that operate all the diversion dams and uh, pipelines through Waterton Canyon. Anytime Jade makes a release up at Cheeseman Reservoir, we're the next in line to catch that water. We really do work as a team here. Even when you've got lots of years under your belt, there's still something that pops up that, that you might need a little bit of help with. Uh, the journey of water, especially in Colorado, is so uh, dramatic. 
being able to be a part of that and affect so many lives is pretty impressive and uh, awe-inspiring. What our treatment plan is where the water comes in and we treat it to drinking water standards. Denver Water serves 1.4 million people, so we cannot stop providing water to our customers. I'm kind of high level looking at the big picture of everything. My team at Marston, um, I'm incredibly proud of my team. The majority of the people at Denver Water are, they're just passionate about their jobs and they know how important their job is. We have great scientists that are really vested in making sure that the water that we test really culminates in the best we can put out. We are very proactive in the research that we do to ensure that the water quality not only stays optimal today, but it's also optimal tomorrow and for many years to come. When I had my second child, I decided to continue working because it is very important for them to see the role of a working mother the role of a scientist and the role of someone that doesn't have to choose between motherhood and science. We're the crew that goes in and we, you know, lay the pipe and we line everything up for it all to kind of fall in place. We're the final piece of the puzzle that, you know, brings the water to the people. Daily we're kind of the face of Denver Water, so to speak, because we are dealing with them one-on-one. -on -one. It's a long journey from where that water comes from, and a lot of people don't understand that. At the end of the day, it's always nice to go home to a warm shower, so we give to give that to people. We have a saying on our crew, everybody goes home at the end of the day. It's very important to me that we go in and we do the job right the first time. A lot depends on it. We provide their drinking water. There's, there's certain standards that we have to follow. We can't cut that corner. Now everybody's positive. They're willing to help you out. If you need help, they always have your back. When you work with them every day, I see them more than I actually see my family. Being a part of the crew makes it a lot easier to do our job. I've been married for 13 years. It'll be 14 this, this August. We have two kids, Caleb, he's 12, and Larray, she is eight. But we are also expecting our third baby, second girl, Olivia. I, I came to the United States directly to Denver, Colorado in 1997. I, I was 12 years old. I basically just came with my parents. I started everything that I now know uh, in middle school. Coming here as a 12-year-old, as it was challenging. I also did not know English when I first moved here, but it also pushed me and encouraged me to, to learn English a lot faster. I've been looking for a job where I can use my skills. I went to school to study public relations. I've known Spanish since I was born. And now um, seeing that come to fruition, doing what I love, at Denver Water and be able to share our message, being blessed to, to have that. I have two boys, Giovanni and Leonardo. I think that the boys really enjoy the summer because it's time that they can spend together. They can try to race each other to see who's faster and it adds some competition and as boys they just love that. I've been working at Denver Water for almost a year now. I'm very proud of the work that I do at Denver Water. It feels nice to serve our communities and serve my hometown, for sure. Giovanni, my oldest son, if he sees someone drinking water, he'll be like, oh, my mom works at Denver Water. He's really proud and it makes me happy to see that as well. really amazing to see all of the hard work and all the unique positions that contribute to the success of Denver Water. We want to hire the best and we really are just looking for that perfect candidate. There's other places where they don't have 
clean water, you know, and, and so we really just need to take care of it and cherish it the most we can. Being able to just turn on the tap and be able to drink out of it, it's such a huge benefit for my family and I. This is priceless.